the way I look at higher power things for me is things just when they fall right in your lap and you're like, how did that just happen? You know, there's only one way to explain it. Yeah. So anyway, when I wrote this song, it was about, I want you to look at the person next to you and say, I don't see what you see, I see beautiful. Look at each other and say that. <laughs> And I wrote this song because I got tired of watching everybody, like girls especially, were the worst, cutting themselves down. And then I, I said this about a friend of ours. I sent a picture to her of herself many years ago. She wrote back, oh my God, delete that. <laughs> you know, whatever she wrote. I just responded, I don't see what you see, I see beautiful. And I went, oh my God, that's a song. I mean, it was just like, it came right out of me. And I, we were talking on the way over. I do have to tell you guys this real quick before we take a break. I've grown up doing poetry and songwriting since I was probably five or six years old. I was born to be a songwriter and there's many years I stopped writing because someone made a bad comment about my writing or someone that was higher up was like, yeah, you should write a better song. And you know, so and I used to write six, seven, eight songs a week. And I'll give you a little bit of the background. Um, and it's hard always to talk about the past, but I had a stepfather who was not very nice. Always cutting me down. I wasn't pretty enough. And so I grew up always thinking I wasn't pretty enough. The words were not something. It, I didn't look at myself ever and go, oh, I'm cute. I still don't think I'm cute. I just love makeup. I'm like Dolly Parton. You know, the bigger the boobs, the better the hair. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I you are to Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> but my point was that, so I, it's always been important to me my whole life to let someone know they're beautiful. I'll tell complete strangers. I'll walk right up and be like, you're so pretty. You don't know who you're going to touch that day. You don't know what, what they be, could be going through. Anybody. I tell men that. I'm like, you're very handsome. I just want you to have great hair or whatever. And that's probably because the way I was raised, I wasn't always like that. Now, my mother did think I was cute. <laughs> that's my mother, though. So anyway, my point was songwriting was always my saving grace. I'd go into my bedroom and write lyrics about things just to get healed. So songs have always been there to heal me. I'm back in a songwriting mode. So, I, if you can remember this song, I want to thank Soul Tea for powering this song. So without Soul Tea, this would not be in the studios in Nashville right now. And it's believed this song is going to touch a lot more people. So, when you would cut yourself down or anyone around you, just look at each other and say, I don't see what you see, I see beautiful.
It's always going to be. That's the way it's always going to be. One more time. I don't see what you see. You see, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. It's what you are. Rachel Stacey. We're going to take a short break, you guys. You're all beautiful, man. Oh, that's the way it's always going to be. Last time together. I don't see what you see. I see beautiful. And beautiful is what you are to me. Thanks, you guys. Come see me at the merch booth.